It stirred patriotic emotions when it was first released. Now in Olympic year, Chariots of Fire has been remastered. I can't wait. A story from the 1924 Olympics in Paris, a tale from a different era of athletics, and a focus on one runner, Harold Abrahams, and his determination to achieve gold and glory. He is played by actor Ben Cross. That I can give. It comes as a tremendous shock. It's a very pleasant shock, um, but it's extraordinary after 30 years that uh, uh, a film that, that had its premiere 30 years ago can generate, apparently generate such excitement. It's wonderful. The remastered version has premiered in London's West End, a timeless film with universal themes. It's a film that doesn't date because it was already dated um, when we made it. So. Absolutely great. Also, it's about, it's about thing, people who uh, had a spirit and a heart and they overcame things. So that's a wonderful lesson for us all, really. Also, you know, it was well written. The things that are well written and well directed and well produced, they, they kind of do all right. The award-winning theme music by Vangelis has become synonymous with the Olympics. We are here today to honour... As has this opening scene in the beach in St Andrews of the hopeful young athletes in training. When it was first released in 1981, Chariots of Fire was showered with plaudits from the critics. The film was inspired by Scottish athlete Eric Liddell, who refused to run on Sunday due to his religious convictions. It won four Academy Awards with a largely unknown cast. The writing, the music and the cast. Fantastically important. A wonderful cast, unknown, so that they didn't come with any baggage, anything behind them. So you believed them, and you went with them, and it, they just became runners. The film has been released with DVDs now in the market across the world, in time to coincide with the start of the London Olympics. Higher, faster, stronger. Chariots of Fire gives that motto a true resonance.